Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a two weeks one palette switch and for the past two weeks I have been using the W7 Enchanted palette. Look at this packaging. It is absolutely gorgeous and for some reason it is uh, like beaten up. After I brought it with me to England on vacation, I mostly have used it only in England which were a week and out of that week, seven days, I wore makeup five six maybe so i have been using this a ton and then today for this eye look um i will insert the pictures if i have them i don't really remember what pic what looks i took pictures of i do remember what i have made with the palette so if i have a picture of the eye look i will insert it but i'm just going to talk about it when i chose this palette i told you guys i'm going to see amanda erin and claire and i did and it was so amazing and they were amazing they are so so kind and they are so lovely you wouldn't even yeah i spent the whole day with amanda and then claire and erin they were a part of our day if you can say like that in the beginning like about lunch time they were together with us otherwise i saw amanda the whole day it was so amazing girls if you're watching i love you it was so amazing too see them and my john and amanda's john they really enjoyed it even though us four we knew each other <laughs> from the internet it's a little weird but it is the palette we are going to talk about if you don't know how it is looking like it is looking like this and maybe i have a before photo from the the update where i chose this like two weeks ago and then i can compare the usage to this week because I think it's pretty nice. I don't have any dips or anything, but you can totally see that I have worn them and I have used every single shade. Today was the last day I could use this lilac shade, so I went full on <laughs> lilac today. For most of the looks, I used Charmed and Flourish. This as a transition shade and then this as a crease shade. I used Mystical sometimes in the crease as well. So those will always be included in the looks. Can you hear him? He really wants to come in but he can't. He can't. Felix Dukek, come in. Scared. I really don't know where to start with this palette because I have done so much and it's actually quite hard to remember now that I think about it. I have used Ecstasy in all of my looks, actually in the inner corner. I didn't really know what else to put in there and the highlighter that I brought with me was not very intense so it was not really highlighting much. <laughs> so, But Ecstasy is really glittery. Um, so it's also a good tower, but I mostly just used it in the inner corner and I actually used it with my highlighter Because it was very subtle and I like something that shines so I thought glitter was the thing <laughs> So dreamy this beautiful rosy pink shade down here. I paired that with blossom only for one look and then one look that where I used Charmed, I believe, and I used Miss M Magical in the outer corner a lot too, um, especially with Dreamy and then Bouquet, I think it's called this coppery reddish shade. I used with Mystical and Magic um, a lot, and I think I also used it with Blossom, um, which is a beautiful coral shade that is really, really stunning. I love that shade. So maybe I use Blossom or Charmed with Captivated, this duochrome shade up here. I actually don't remember, but I did use them. And Imaginary I used for a look. I didn't really like how it turned out because I used an eyeliner, the Burgundy that I bought with me. And I didn't like how that turned out, so I just put this over the top of that eyeliner. And then it turned kind of green, so I had a light uh, eyelid uh, sheen you know with this color and then the eyeliner was green because this has a green undertone to it I don't know if you can see that and it is raining sorry if you don't like the noise of that and then for a look 
I don't remember what it was with, but I used Bliss as an eyeliner. It was not the best, but it worked and I was actually ha quite happy with it. Imaginary I used w with Blossom or Charmed that day, I don't remember. But today I have used Tranced, Tranced, this lilac shade in the outer and inner part of my eyelid and then I put a cream shadow um, in the middle to like make it stick and I used imaginary on my eyelid and that shade really need a base or some for some reason because it's not really empowering you know it's not getting out there <laughs> um, and the same with captivated but I told you guys last time that I did a palette bingo on the look that I wore in that video and for that video I used the NYX cream shadow um, with bliss and captivated on the eyelid it's why is it raining so much so that is my palette i'm really sorry about the rain it's it's distracting me a little bit that is the palette uh, from w7 i really really enjoyed this last week and i can totally see why i should use my palette more um but i do have a panda palette kind of with the single ladies and my man mat i really want to focus on that also and i do have some shadows in other projects it's a little bummer one thing just on top of my head one thing that i missed from this palette was a very light shade because flourish this beige shade is for my skin tone really dark so it doesn't really highlight anything so today i used a white shadow here on my brow bone so if you really like that flourish is not going to do that for you and again a inner corner shade that is brightening but not glittery i missed that as well i think i used imaginary sometimes in my inner corner as well um just to try something else <laughs> but i really really like this palette so if you have thought about buying this palette I would say you should because it's really really nice and it is a good formula again some of them need a base but most of us has a setting spray or a cream shadow or something like that that can make shadows pop more and upgrade a level you know I love it and um, I am panning mystical so I'm not going to put it away totally yet but I'm, I'm also excited to get a new palette for the weekend because most of the times i only use it in the weekends because i have the other shadows in the weekdays so when it's raining a lot let me just put out my wheel so we can choose a palette that is my panda palette <laughs> okay because that was my panda palette i'm going to choose another one because I don't see the point of getting that palette, you know, because I use it five days a week. So. What is? Oh, I already got that one. It is the W7 Northern Nude Midsummer Nights. Let's get another one. Are you for real? I just got that one. That's better. The double seven seduced palette. Oh yeah, I'll take a break and then we can get back to the video because this is a lot. This is very loud. Oh. Uh, the thunder has begun so it's not raining anymore, so maybe I can end the video before it's going to be a huge thunderstorm. So, I got the Seduce palette by W7. It is this glittery thing. And yes, it is a dupe for the ABH Soul Tree palette. I have not used it. Not even once, so this is going to be exciting. So maybe I can do a cold look and some cool tone. I'm not the... Uh, biggest cool toned eyeshadow lover but maybe I can with this palette I have another palette that is really brown and cool toned I don't like that one it is the spaced out palette by W7 so maybe this is better 
I certainly hope so. So in this palette there are seven mattes, which are lace, this pale beige shade, and then a pro a pro I can't say that word. It, which is the coal, and then we have silk, which is this light brown one, and fishnets, which is the black, and the grey is called must. And this brown shade is called Vamp, and this brown is called Touch. So this, 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 and this. They are mattes. Then I would say... I guess they're shimmers, but they look more glittery. <laughs> Some of them at least. So, Oyster and Champagne, Strawberries, Allure, Temptation. Elsit, 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 and Desire. I hopefully can play around with it a little bit more than just a few times, and I will of course share the looks with you guys um, that I do. I hopefully can use every shade in this palette. I would love to do that. This is the palette that I'm going to use for the next two weeks, and I'm really excited. I'm a little bit scared of all the glitter on this palette because sometimes the glitter is rubbing off there you can see one there that is everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did give it a like and subscribe down below so don't miss out on the end result of that palette for the in a few weeks and i am doing a lot of project pans on my channel and panda palette and stuff like that empties palette bingos whatever but if you have any ideas for videos please let me know down below in the comments and I would be so grateful for that. And until my next video, please take care.